Hi and welcome to the channel and in today is our part four of our saga Age of Magic eight point community challenge. Oh, yes. And I'm joined today by Mel. Hi. Uh, you may have seen the last video that we put out which was with Jamie and he's shown off his warband that he's doing for this eight point challenge and I'd have to say in that the army is doing starting them off and that and they are looking really really good. Oh, they're looking brilliant. Yeah, yeah. They're all doing really fantastic. But there was those, those, those um, the Hippogriff Knights and that they're really really good. Well all three he'd managed to get all three of those completed now so they're looking fantastic. He's just got the basing to go on them but he's, he's cracking on. But he's going to make way until the end he's got the armies finished. To oh, and the then base, base everything yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. He's still, he's still yeah. undecided what he's going to do for basing yet. <laughs> yeah. So but anyway. He's talking mountains. Yeah. Exactly. Who knows. Maybe they're on a base. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so join with Mel. Mel's managed to finish off her warband. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she did have to jump right. on us, though. Yep. I did. Oh, did some people it. say it's cheating. Others see it's foresight. These, these are a magic <laughs> army. It's all about seeing into the future. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheat. All right, then. Anyway, <laughs> so she managed to finish it off and that. But uh, So I'll hand it over to Mel. She'll describe and obviously tell you about what she's got. Yeah, so obviously you've seen in the previous video before, I think it was part two that we were doing, mm. um, that we showed a lot more of what the figures were for the Undead Legions. Um, and that's what I've been concentrating on, is managing to get those finished. So part of it was done already. <laughs> um, so a couple of the figures had been done previously, but it was really getting through trying the rest of those. Trying to blend them back those. in what you've oh. already done. <laughs> well, it was trying to take one figure to start with, copy what I had already done, making sure that I got used to the technique again, um, and then going through the rest of the army. But once I got it, it was pretty quick after that, I have to say. <laughs> it's like, okay, yep, I've got this now. So um, just going through some of these ones here, just to review what we've got. Um, using all of that shading on all of them, I use the same color scheme through the whole yeah. thing, um, making sure it's consistent. Even the leaders, yeah. uh, everything was consistent throughout, which, uh, which I think makes the army. Um, but that army again, just to go through that review, what we've got so right at the front there mm -hmm. masses of them we've got the two hordes of mindless 40 figures in all on that they're just going to take up the table slow and shambling though well yeah we've just got to try and get them doing with that magic it's going to be a tough <laughs> tough thing to use but we've got to get those running <laughs> forward not sure running's the word and no. um, <laughs> <Right. laughs> just behind those you can see the two cavalry units that's the hearth guard um, so I've chosen Mounted Hearthguard mm. for those two units. That, that's going to really give some push behind it, which should be good. Um, on either sides, you can see the creatures. So I've got two units of creatures um, using the Spirit Host from mm. the um, Age of Sigmar type army. So I like those ones. Mm. Uh, and I think that they'll just put something nice in there. Different table, something different um, that you won't normally see on Age of Magic, I suppose. So that's kind of six points worth on that. The other two points, one of them is the Sorcerer. Um, so I got the new Sorcerer, the um, Cruel Ghast Cruciator figure. From, that's the one on foot on the front. That's the one on foot on the front there, yeah. And he's kind of splayed out on a, a bit of a rack there. Um, <laughs> you know, hey, <laughs> nothing like pain in the army. Um, but he's there and is going to be taking that, making sure that magic keeps on going throughout. Um, and behind him as, as part of that leadership there, we've got the Black Knight. Couldn't not do the Black Knight, you've got to have it as no, part of your army. Um, and so he's there to support, and that's the eight points. And obviously your Warlord, he, you don't spend a point for him, he's there as part of the army anyway. Uh, and this is the, uh, the one over here on the Winged Beast. Very nice. He's, he's, uh, he's a flyer there and, and he's really a centerpiece one. So. Really enjoying that. Um, the only thing that I've got left to do is really to finish off what I'm gonna have as a crypt. Um, um, yeah. So each of the armies have something which is like a rally point um, and you get added bonuses if they're within certain Some distances, distances yeah. of that point. Um, and for the undead, I need a crypt. Um, so I'm not <laughs> sure what to do about that yet. I've got a few different options. Temporarily at the moment, it's a bit big, but I'm kind of using the tower here. <laughs> it's a bit big for the game really, but hey, it's it's a centerpiece for now. Um, but I will change that eventually. So that's kind of all that's left to do on there. But I'm really pleased with how it's gone so yeah, far. Yeah, it, it does look superb and that. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly come together really quickly as well. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it, once I'd got that 
that uh, that technique back again. It was only a couple of weeks. Just rattle through looked, them. A couple um, of weeks. On your last video, also on part two, you had some comments on there about asking you how you were going to how you painted them and yeah. where you're going to do a video. Is that something you're going to look to do in the future, or? Um, I may do. Um, one thing I would say when I paint figures is I just paint my own I styles. Think most, I think For most me, people do the same. Don't they? Um, I'm not a painting teacher. I'm I don't do tutorials or anything like that. I just paint for what I enjoy. Um, I'm quite happy to do a painting video of it, but it's definitely not a tutorial. This is not a, this is how you should do it. Um, do you know, everybody finds their own way. Yeah. So yeah, I probably will do. I'm not sure when yet. We've got an awful lot on that project. Not going on still. Yeah, not going on <laughs> um, the moment, but, um, but I will see if I can fit it in at some point and get a video of it. I think, so. I th I think, I think it's just to get that, that shading more than anything. I think anything. it's also um, worth doing as well. For more of it's yourself, sort of have it as a diary piece yeah. to remember. So you do this in the future. <laughs> I've like going, still got yeah. <laughs> a lot of this army to do. So th this is it for Age of Magic, but this is a very small part of my Age of Sigma army, which is just over 5,000 points um so i do have a lot left to do so yeah it's a good idea yeah good idea to a do it as a diary sort of yeah, yeah. yes yeah. But yeah definitely good I think, so, yeah. so i said other some people asked on that in the, in the comments below and yeah. you did you did respond to them and that by saying that yeah but, definitely um, so there we have it guys mm. what do you think of this arm i think mel's done a superb job fantastic job it. it really really does I think it fits the bill for the Saga Age of Magic. What she's used and that, the figures she's, she's used for different types of roles mm -hmm. and that within the game. I think it does yeah, look absolutely. brilliant. That's it for the moment, guys. But hold on. Right at the end of this video, there's going to be a montage video of all the units. You can see some close-ups of these figures and that. All, all sort of laid out for you at the end of the video. But until mm. then, guys, hope your projects are going well. Jamie's on, on pressing on with his uh, warband for his Aegis Magic. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get a catch-up video of his done very, Yeah, we'll very do that soon. one soon, so watch Absolutely. out for that one. And until next time, guys, please stay safe and happy wargaming.